wonderful to see so many people gathered here tonight for one common purpose. We are sick and tired of the federal government telling us how to live our lives. Yeah. Yeah. So Paul did an excellent job of really detailing what the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution does for us. It gives us the freedom to govern ourselves. And I'm here today to shed a little hope for you all, because there have been some fantastic things happening in the Missouri legislature. But first, I have a confession to make. There was a time in my life where I was a stark, raving liberal. <laughs> yeah, I actually sat on the board of directors for a local United Nations Association out in Santa Barbara, California. <laughs> yes. Thankfully, I got an education and I <laughs> learned about the Constitution. It was actually through the campaign of Republican Congressman Dr. Ron Paul that I discovered I indeed am not a liberal. I'm a conservative and I think that the government needs to get out of my life. <laughs> over and over, because I started out angry. I was a liberal. I was angry at Republicans. I grew up going to high school and college during the Bush years, and all I knew was Bush bad, Republicans bad, Democrats good. And Republicans were going to take power in 2006, and they were going to restore the Constitution, and they were going to stop these Republicans who were corporate cronies and really didn't care about our rights. And then Nancy Pelosi became the Speaker of the House, and the Democrats took power. Oh. And nothing changed. It actually got worse. The Bush bailouts began, and I realized the Republicans are inherently bad. Corruption is the problem, and it exists in both parties. working on the Ron Paul campaign, and I was out handing out flyers and sign waves, and people laughed at me, they called me names, and the press said that me and my friends were not real people. We were internet spammers, just like the tea parties are astroturfers, right? I then realized, okay, the Republican Party is corrupt, the Democratic Party is corrupt, so is the mainstream media. Where do I go from here? Well, obviously, Ron Paul didn't get the nomination. We had another socialist running as a Republican, John McCain. And now we have a communist in office. And people probably don't think I'm so crazy anymore, do they? <laughs> so last fall, even though my heart was broken and Ron, Ron Paul stepped out of the race, I stayed involved. I canvassed for a Libertarian Party candidate running for state rep because I lived in Kansas City in the most liberal district in the state and no Republican was running. I canvassed for a Republican congressional candidate and a Constitution Party presidential candidate. None of them won. My heart was broken. And I was starting to feel a little hopeless, but I decided to stay involved and I turned to the Missouri Legislature. They came back into session in the spring of 2008, and I heard about a piece of legislation that Cynthia Davis had introduced. It was based on the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution, and it would stop Obama from enacting FOCA, the Freedom of Choice Act, which would supersede over 500 state laws across the nation, state abortion laws. And I thought, well, hey, this is something I can get involved with. The Missouri legislature introducing a piece of legislation to stop the federal government from doing something? I can get behind that. So I got involved and I testified in hearings and I knocked on doors in the Capitol and next thing I knew, legislation passed. We stood up to the federal government and said no, but thank you. of legislation was introduced by Representative Jim Guest up in northern Missouri. See, back in 2005, the federal government passed the Real ID Act, which would require every state in the union to comply with a federal driver's license. 
that would track our biometrics, either a thumbprint or a retinal scan. Okay, this can't be good. And about 30 other states had passed resolutions to stand up against it, and I thought, surely, this is something that the Missouri legislature can get behind. So again, I went down and I canvassed the halls of Jefferson City and testified in committee hearings. And would you believe that we got rid of the real ID with a unanimous vote in the Missouri Senate? legislation that made it through the House and has not yet made it through the Senate. It's HCR 13. It is a straight Tenth Amendment resolution. Pretty cool there. We've got something to look forward to in the spring. But where this leads me is that we are in a very special place as Missourians, and I have to honestly say I would rather live in no other state in this union because our state rests get it. They understand the Tenth Amendment, and when the citizens show up and say, tell them to back off, they step up and they tell the federal government to back off. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it gets better than that. While we already have a legislature that's pretty awake and seems to understand their role, we also have an opportunity unlike any other state in the union. In 2010, there are going to be 64 open seats in the House that will have no incumbent due to term limits. So that means that it is our responsibility, every single one of us here, to get involved and make sure that the people running for office are people who understand the Constitution and who will uphold the Tenth Amendment and who will put the federal government in check. That is our opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, right now. You really can make a difference. And I went from hopeless to feeling completely empowered because our state reps are close to us. They're right here in our state. They listen to us when we knock on the door, and they will look you face to face. Now, granted, sometimes we had to force it. We had to shout angry things and make angry phone calls, but eventually they listened. So I want you all to go out and get involved. If you haven't considered it, consider running for state rep. Consider stepping up and becoming one of those representatives who I think are going to pave the way for the rest of the country right here in Missouri. We are going to show them how it is done, and we will be the first state to stand up, and I am proud to say that two of those reps who are helping with that process are right here with us today. So ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, get involved with doing more than attending rallies. Get to know your state rep. Find out if they are one of the representatives who get it or one of the ones who don't. Because in our state, there are some Republicans and there are some Democrats who do get it. They don't have to be Republican or Democrat. If you want to run for office and you are sick of both of the parties, you can run as an independent. And by looking around right here, I think you're going to have plenty of friends who are going to stand up by your side and make sure you get elected on principle, not party. I would encourage you all to visit retakeyourstate.com. That's a website that we put together to try to try and help facilitate the process of getting constitution-minded state reps elected in 2010, and also to talk about various forms of Tenth Amendment-related legislation here in Missouri. That's retakeyourstate.com. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Catherine. A young up-and-comer, fantastic. Who says we're not a diverse crowd, right? Come on now.